I love this little flisk cut stool. It's so practical. It's cute. It's square. Very simple in design. Great for little kitty chair or a footstool, side table. You can use it for absolutely anything. Practical, cute, but it could be a lot nicer. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna make it some little ears, some little bunny ears. Getting ready for spring and ready for Easter. So this tool is getting a bunny makeover. So out of some scrap paper, I drew a bunny ear. This one is 24 centimeters long and eight centimeters wide on its widest part. We have this doodle, this sketch and see what you like best. We're gonna cut two of these out of timber and attach them to the back of the stool. Of course you want to do bunny ears, you can do maybe antlers or a little bear ears, doggy ears, whatever you fancy, but I think bunny ears are gonna look very cute. So I had a look what timber I had in the shed that sort of matches the color of the stool. And I still had these little inserts. I cut these out of an IKEA storage unit when I made the mud table. And they look very cute. And of course, because it's the same pine, I think it might be a good color match. Or I have this pine plank, which could work as well. I was looking at these bits and I think this is pine that's pressed together. I think it's like three different pieces looking at the grain. So I think if I cut this, it might split. So I think it might be better to go for this plank. It's a plank of pine. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer the bunny ears on there and use a jigsaw to cut it out. Besides the timber, you're also gonna need two screws, drill, wood glue, your jigsaw, I'm gonna use a router which is optional, and your sander. Now we got two ears, let's sand these. I first use a coarse um, pad and later a finer grid one. Make sure the edges are nice and rounded and they are as soft as I can get them. So now we're gonna attach them to the stool. So my stool has a bit of a mark here, a bit of a red piece of timber. So I think it might be nice. Actually, if it goes towards us, like that, then maybe like that. So, what's the best bit of the ears? Let's mark where the ears need to go. So now we got the ears marked, so I'm gonna do, I have a router, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of this timber out so the ear sits in the stool a little bit. You don't need to do this. It's just because I have the equipment and I think it's going to look nicer. That's why I'm going to do it. You can just completely skip the step if you don't have a router and just drill holes and attach the ears. But I'm just going to cut a little bit of this timber out. Oh, it's so frustrating. Just as I pulled the router bit out, I snatched the sides. Oh, I've got a little dent there now. But yeah, that one is perfect. So what we're going to do now, we're going to drill a hole right in the middle where the ear is going to sit. Then you're gonna put some wood glue in there and screw in the ears from underneath. scrap timber, some sewing and sanding, and I got a whole new stool. I think I'm going to use it as a little seat for Kiki, my toddler daughter, but I think I'm still going to use it as a plant table or as a side table too. It sure is a bit of springtime fun for my interior. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a bit of love because that really helps my videos being seen by more people. And if you enjoyed this one, have a look at my IKEA hack playlist. There's loads and loads more tips of how you can modify your furniture. I'll be back soon with a new video and I really hope to see you then.